Helen Russell and uh, her crow, a uh, pecked husband, Tristan, join us now. <laughs> Isn't it funny how they come towards you? She ju Holly just said to me... And I don't want to panic it, that's all, so I'm just trying to be really She calm. just said to me, um, if you... And you had to watch... I've watched yesterday's programme to know what this means, but she said, I swear, if that bird flies at me, I'm, I'm going to do a Monet. <laughs> You'll be I'm scared of that. Well, so, yeah. Okay, so tell us how you met because actually Russell is very lucky that you were the person that found him. Because were you walking whilst in an Italian restaurant? Yeah, I was walking um, when the dogs bumble um, yeah. past the Italian restaurant and I saw Russell in the doorway and I just couldn't oh, leave him. Oh, and he's I flying off. No, that's all right. And it's amazing right. because you said he doesn't fly. But he can kind of hop away like that. That was away. quite a substantial too, um, hop, though, wasn't it? He's quite strong willed. So. Yeah, he is very strong willed. Well, he can have yeah. a little explore. That's all right. Yeah. He's not gonna, he, won't, he won't come to any harm in so here. So I'm really that's lucky because fine. you're an animal behaviour specialist anyway. Yeah. So you saw him and he was in a bit of a state, actually, wasn't he? Yeah, he um, he had quite um, poor feather breakage and he had crooked feet as well. Yeah. So, um, oh. yeah, he was in quite a bad way. And you knew that him. if you took him to, to a sanctuary or somewhere, there probably wouldn't be an awful lot they could do with They'd him. They'd probably have euthanised him. He yeah. would have been put down, yeah. 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 So, he came to stay with you and you... Is he under the sofa? Yeah. And you treated him yourself. Yeah. Um, and very quickly, this bond, sort of five months, this bond got stronger yeah. and stronger. So, yeah. so how, how, tell me what sort of things he did. Because he comes... <laughs> if you call him, he'll come to you. Yeah, um, basically, if there's no distractions, he will come when called. So um, I trained him. When he saw the baby food, he would fly over to me and usually perch on my shoulder. Yeah. Um, but he is a little bit shy around new things. Oh, here he uh, comes. Oh, What's he please... found under the sofa? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just feeding him biscuits. Oh, to well get yeah. Him yeah. Oh, well done. You're Will he pet good me? Good. No. No, no. And if you feed him his, he loves this as All well. All right, you do yeah. that. Come here, you. Um, and, and he gets, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, he is like your baby. I mean, he gets yeah. separation Some anxiety he like, does. like children do too. Yeah, so I've done a lot of work with him. So gradually increasing the time that I leave him, lots of positive reinforcement. And oh. he's actually got a lot better now. I can leave him for about five hours without him squawking now. Oh, so. good. But he, he sleeps in your nice. bed. No. Well, he, he, has a, he has a cage he sleeps on top of. But he will often fly down and sort of... And have a snuggle. You say that he comes to the... He'll be at the end of the bed and... Yeah, yeah it's one like, place yeah. he likes. Yeah. OK, so, so he does sleep <laughs> yeah. in your bed. Right. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so... so how does it? What did I just oh, do? Why did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes nice. <laughs> All right, you're sharing your food with a crow. It's not bad. It's just banana baby brekkie. It's <laughs> quite nice. Um, so, uh, so, uh, do you, you want to come and do you want to come and see if you can? Oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. Look, there you go. Look, that's it. Oh, so it'd be nice to see him rather than him be under the sofa. What? What? How long can you can you um, like leave him unattended now? Um, sort of five hours. So he's got a nice aviary yeah. and he's quite happy to sort of bumble around there and um does he like being outside because there are a couple of other rooks outside and they, they they they're a bit of bullies aren't they yeah so he they tolerate each other but um it's just a matter of him getting used to them and um but yeah we we introduce them gradually to the other rooks um who also have additional needs as well <laughs> he loves <laughs> you doesn't he isn't that funny? right behind you now right behind you now <gasps> <Russell, Russell. Russell. laughs> oh <laughs> I'm gonna go and get him. <laughs> you, Come on, you, sorry. You'll be alright. I look after you. <laughs> this is two days in a row. Two days in a row. <gasps> He doesn't oh usually uh, do that. Doesn't he? No, yeah. well, Monet because... yesterday doesn't usually do what he does, but uh, it you know, because... it's telly for you. Why is he doing it? He's just us? a bit nervous. Oh, you're gosh. new people. Come on. Yeah. So he's getting used to it. So now, so well you've so five way. months. Got another question? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I have, I have, I have. I'm just okay. battling on. So five months, um, the, the bond got stronger. Yeah. Seven months, am I right? He sort of reached his sexual maturity. Maturity. Right? Mm. Um, and that um, that came with its with its own problems also, didn't it? Yeah. So um, he started getting a little protective over <laughs> Tristan um, when Tristan came sort of near me. Um, he might get a little gentle pet. Yeah. Um, but he's got a lot better as as he's got older, and we've done a lot of work with him. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And also, you had to be careful not to have high pitched voice because he yeah quite he gets very aroused. Like so, hello. It gets yeah, aroused. Hello. Hello. Hello, Is that Russell? the voice he likes? Yeah, he, he usually has his punky eyebrows and... Um, What's that? Yeah, um, his, his feathers on his eyebrows go up, oh. so, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Oh, hand, bit of poop. Well, you, I don't want you to get it's it on your leg. It's on your leg just, there, that's just, just oh, there. there. He's just pooed yeah. on the sofa. 
Yeah. <laughs> but we're used to that, so don't worry. He does do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> absolutely Bless. fine. Bless um, and and he, you know, he's he, rooks can get up to twenty years old, can't they? Yeah, twenty years old. So what's he... the future? What what, what just the, the, the three of you? Um, when we have children, obviously Russ will still be there, but obviously um, we'll keep them separate. We'll um, do a lot of gradual introductions, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep them for the rest of our life. You know, mm. it's a big commitment, but that's what we're going to do, isn't yeah. it? And you love him. You both love life. animals. Yeah. I'm hoping to outlive him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he's, he's, he's lovely. I've never seen anything oh, quite like it in all my life. Um, yeah. And thank you for bringing him That's in. That's OK. Yeah. And I think he did very well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he had a good old explore. Yeah, it's a yeah. bit overwhelming for him. Yeah. yeah. OK, I'm well, not. thank you, Russell. It's thank nice you. To, the real Russell has actually tweeted yeah. you, hasn't he? So yeah, 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 the real yeah. Russell Crowe has tweeted him, <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Oh, just going to let him have a little wander to de-stress. Yeah, no, that's OK, don't worry. He'll come out when Ryland's here. Yeah. That'll be even funnier. <laughs>